This tutorial will show you how to edit an audio file with iSpring Suite. A lot of instructional designers incorporate audio into their online courses, so audio editing is an essential part of the process. iSpring Suite incorporates the audio editor right inside PowerPoint, but you can always use it as a standalone tool. Just press the Start button on your keyboard and start typing Editor. Now open the iSpring Audio Video Editor. From the File menu, click Open. iSpring supports all popular audio formats, WAV, MP3, and WMA. If you're using another format, just contact the iSpring support team for more assistance. Now open your file. Here you'll see your audio displayed on the timeline. You can zoom into any part of the audio by rolling your mouse wheel or clicking the plus and minus buttons in the bottom right corner. Just click and drag a selection and you can easily delete it out of the track, silence the audio, or trim everything but the selection. If you want to remove noise from your audio, select a flat part of the waveform and click Remove Noise. For any part of your audio, you can also adjust the volume, or fade in, and fade out. Once you're done editing your audio clip, just go to the File menu, and click Export. iSpring exports audio to two formats. MP3 is compressed audio for high-speed transmission over the internet. If you still plan to edit your audio further, or use it in an iSpring course, choose Uncompressed WAV format. When you publish your final course, iSpring will handle the compression for you. Now all you have to do is click Save, and your fine-tuned audio will be exported to the folder of your choice. Did you like this video? Give it a like, and subscribe to the iSpring YouTube channel for more updates.